diesel pollution released from trucks like this one is common at the Port of LA, and agencies like the South Coast Air Quality Management District say it's affecting people's health. They show the area around the port as being um, very impacted by diesel emissions and, and having a higher cancer risk than other parts of Los Angeles. To fight that pollution, officials created the Clean Truck Program. And so what we're doing is gradually causing the trucks that operate in the ports to have to meet US EPA 2007 emission standards. Old trucks that don't meet those clean standards are barred from the port or must pay a few hundred dollars in extra fees. But it seems truckers skirt those fees and restrictions. Está sucediendo eso, que los camiones nuevos están sacando las cargas de los puertos, las están dejando en las yardas y los camiones más viejos las están moviendo a su destino final. That means old trucks still pollute LA skies, and new trucks fail to make much of an impact as they circle the port. How far is running the new trucks? Hit 20, 40 feet? And it's clear that there? I know this. Port officials say they know about the new truck short runs. That does happen. Okay. And that, that does happen, and I, there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, you know, our job, we're not, a, we're not a regulatory body. What we're really trying to do is to influence what's happening here at port terminals and on our property. But truck pollution from the port goes beyond property lines, and L.A. residents continue breathing dirty air. Madeline Sinto, Annenberg TV News.